Hey guys, Terminator Godzilla here, and I'm back with Kerbal Space Program, and this is OPT Space Plane Parts, Part Two. And starting it off, my something I made earlier today actually finished, well, kind of finished testing it right before I started recording this. My SSTO prototype. Testing a new takeoff method with it to find, hopefully, do a more efficient way. But Kerbal Space Program also underwent an update. New engine sounds, most likely, you could tell. Get this thing off of the ground. If it will cooperate. It takes a long time to get into space, yet I can tell you this is a true SSTO because I've gotten it into orbit. Cut off that engine. Just... Actually just activate everything to just skyrocket. I'd have to get really fast so this I didn't crank up. Oh, speaking of which, in last episode, this is the scramjet. A new shockwave, you can't see it on the camera, but it, well, very, very, very faintly. Uh, there, it's more clear now. But I go. Th this thing will go through fuel very quickly at the start. But it gets more efficient as it depletes. Get this up so these rapier engines can crank, can get up to our thing. And once I get the scramjet going, then I'm good. It's cranking up too. Once I see a flame out of the scramjet, I'm going to tear off the, these engines. No, nope, won't be needing them. No flame out of the scramjet yet. There's still a flame within it. Right there. And... Cut those off. Because the scrimjet's now approaching a really high thrust level. Hold on, let's start over because I just noticed the brakes were on. <laughs> Lol, Terminator doesn't know when to turn the brakes on or off. And I'll keep them all on. Open that back up so I know exactly how much fuel and oxidizer I have left. So with the brakes off, I'll, my speed will increase much higher on takeoff up now and up. level till the flame comes out of the scramjet. There's always, usually almost always a flame inside of it, but it, um, I use the flame that pops out of it at, a, at 700 kilonewtons as my cue to turn off the um, skipper um, rocket engines. They are stock part, though. Yet, this thing is also 100% reusable, so they're really, really hard to make. Took me... I've had this game for years, and I never was able to do it. 
until now. I actually had this game for almost ten for many years and I've only been on YouTube for a few months. Yet my birthday is also coming up. And I'm announcing my birth my birthday special will be coming out. And it's just gonna be a bunch of YouTube videos on my other games. Kerbal Space Program may be included. Once I cut off the skippers, the fuel efficiency skyrockets. There. It might be slowing down now. Turn it on just so the flame really kicks off. There we go. Now I'm accelerating without using the skippers. Because I need those for when I'm in space. Rapiers are also increasing thrust. Oh, actually, never mind. Scratch that. They're not. This thing's thrust is increasing a lot. Do that. Activate these just a little bit longer. Okay, the flame's increasing in size a lot now. But yeah. One scramjet, four rapiers, and two skipper engines are what power this thing. And it makes it just into space with just enough fuel to re-enter. But if you get... But you cannot download this crap considering I don't know how to get that stuff to work. And I can never download anyone else's crafts because every craft that I've downloaded never shows up and I don't know how to get them to. And my speed will be increasing. Hold on, let's test something. Okay, I can already shut those down good. But yeah, that shows how efficient this engine is. The scramjet alone. Yet the rapiers are necessary for lower speeds. Uncheck this. Now. Activate everything for maximum thrust. But yeah, a new shockwave was added. Most like we just see it as the white blur. Okay, rapiers are getting elderly useless, so cut them off. Scram just pumping out a lot for us. So I'm keeping it on. Height to increase the apoapsis height to get it into orbit. That's the scramjet's thrust. Scramjet, bye bye. Never mind, 
I do not, I should not have done that. Pull that up higher and higher and higher. Not the space yet. And it's in space. Well, it will reach space. Cut it off there. Not much fuel left, but it's enough that I can get to orbit and then re enter. And hopefully land back at the space center. This thing needs to cool off. I can tell because it's glowing. I'm only 50 meters. Go to the prograde. So it stays straight and can. So it minimizes drag. But there's a little thing with the landing gear, but a. Hey. Uh, in the. Okay, found our landing gear problem. But oh well. I'll show this thing off in its own video. Because I've already am 11 minutes in. There's the Aurora. Something y'all saw in the last episode. That again. But this is what I like. So the physics thing, now I'm going to go ahead and adjust that. Actually, radiation I want. The Hunter Killer Class Heavy Bomber. <coughs> ah, allergies kicking in. Just so I can fly this thing as much as I want. But this one... If y'all remember at the end of the last video, which I ended shortly, because somebody interrupted it. But, yep, we have the Hunter Killer Class Heavy Bomber right here. First time flying it in this new update. Three of the Scram Jets. Gets up really easily. Maneuver not very maneuverable yet. The vehicle assembly building over there. It's gonna get completely demolished with a one tiny bomb that it has stored in here. I don't but if you're thinking I don't have just one tiny bomb inside this giant thing. In fact all three of those are cargo bays turned upside down. There's six small bombs in there. Nope. Pull hard. <laughs> I never... That never happened before. OPT space plane parts. I'm glitching right there, but oh well. Doesn't affect the performance. Flies just as good as I remember it. Level out. Turn it and yeah. It's time. It's time to forget to die, Cobble Space Center. You will suffer the wrath of your own inventions. <laughs> couldn't it, couldn't resist using my own voice. Okay. Drop. I'm out. Wham! First try. One shot from one of those bombs, and it wiped the whole place out. Get 
that so I don't accidentally clip so it doesn't go away because I'm gonna need that. Retract the weapons bay doors, enhance their dynamics. The thing's very maneuverable. Rebel Space Program belongs to the squad, no copyright infringement intended. Also, just to get out of my off of me. Open them. Strike two. Two buildings with two bombs. So far, my aiming's not bad. Okay, good. Now, stage adjustment. To make the thing symmetrical. In terms of weight, weight wise, but for a plane of this size, it flies really well. My record is four of the different four different buildings that I've hit with just this plane. Bones away! Yay! Ah oh, man! Missed. Skim the top of the space plane hangar. I'm gonna kill myself by doing this. Blah 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 you're kidding me! Okay, supersonic impact. Pin. Final shoot, hit it from the sides. I was hoping I could make up for my bad aim on that building. It's usual, the space plane, plane, the space plane hangar's never that hard to hit. I've done it before with this exact aircraft. But also, this is just the one thing that was really left to show you in the, from the previous video. It was originally supposed to be a one a one up video, but my dad interrupted, so. But oh well, I can make do. I was just afraid my actual name being revealed. Which will never happen unless someone does it uh, behind my back. Hey! <laughs> Well, I blew up the space plane hangar, you have no excuses. <laughs> Just kamikaze into the space plane hangar. One bomb left. Re um, research and development. Actually, forget that. Tracking. Yeet! Okay. But... Yeah. That wasn't really a good run of mine. But... There's multiple variations of this. There's another variation with a slightly larger bomb. Inside of it. Well, this one's not really 
a bomb. It's more of a... <laughs> let's just say it's a missile, but... Man, if B Armory worked, I would be so happy, because then I could get North Carbon Dynamics back, and then level the place. But this time, I might as well show you this thing at full throttle. You both handle differently, and this one can only undergo one bombing run. Low thrust from the scramjets at low speeds like now, but it's well worth it in the end. Considering these things are stronger than the Vector and even the mainsail engines. So they're the strongest engines for their size. Yet the Vector engines, they're, main, they're my main go-to if I'm messing around and just messing around, not trying to actually do something. Switch to the thrust. The thrust is getting pretty high, but I didn't use just three scramjet engines um, on the SSTO because it wouldn't really work. I was trying to have a way where I could like turn off the skipper engines as soon as rocket engines as soon as possible. Switched all jet engines for efficiency and then eventually just go down to one scramjet, which I managed to do on the prototype. But it will undergo some, a new version of it will undergo modifications to allow me to build a space station with it, but I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon considering how long it took me to build just that thing. Ooh, that was so aggravating. I would. I most likely will never be able to do that with stock parts, make an SSTO fully reusable, a 100% reusable SSTO. Made a little uh, space plane that launched through, um, but, <laughs> yeah, that, but it had like a launch sled, so like a sled made up pretty much solid rocket boosters, which just launched the thing flying. It's able to get to Minmus. That was, and that's the farthest I've gone until I mess around with some rockets in the new update. Um, I feel like I could reach Duna if I'm patient enough. I managed to make a rocket with um, enough fuel to reach a Duna orbit and maybe back, but I don't think so. Yeah, this, but yeah, they've adjusted the performance of certain engines. Because it doesn't usually take this, or does it? Actually, never mind. I, it's been forever since I played the game with this um, aircraft. After the previous episode, it took a pretty good break. Kerbal Space Program. I was intending to do it the same day, but got distracted on doing a space plane thing. Trying to refuel and go other places. But it didn't work because Minmus has virtually no ore. And will someone tell me how I can refuel better? So that's something I want to be able to do. I'm considered a noob at this game, yet I'm great in terms of making aircraft horrible with um, SSTOs, considering I've only made one fully reusable one. And it doesn't make it any easier knowing that the rapiers in Rocky Mode are very, very inefficient. That's the one thing that aggravates me the most. Yeah, the new shockwave, which I love the look of. <laughs> it's like now you see it, now you don't. Now you see it, now you don't. Now you see it, now you don't. 
But yeah, I'm doing over between Mach 3 and Mach 4 right now. Now I am easily doing Mach 4. Now I have to be doing Mach 4 right about now. And these things can reach some insanely high Mach numbers, but their 2,000 meters a second is around its max. So I'm going to go ahead and slow down. Open the weapons bay doors for um, enhanced air braking. This thing has no air brakes. I don't think, at least. No, it doesn't. So I'll just make do with the landing gear. And lowering my altitude. It's the 15th angel. It's the 19th angel. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching Evangelion music videos lately. But they kind of have a very similar performance to Terminator. Unit 1 freaking run runs literally Mach 1. And I thought it looked cool, so I now know what it would look like for Terminator. Which actually helped out a lot. I'm not doing any reaction videos, so don't bother asking. Because all your because it's never gonna happen. Keep hitting the tripod, I think. Okay. Let her rip. I wanna see like that just fade away, I think. Yeah, that's little. This is literally just an just a giant ore-filled missile. Well, rocket-powered bomb, to be more exact. Not really a missile. It's not guided or anything, and it doesn't go up. It just goes down, up, forward, and down. Never up. And it is also mounted to a pylon. And then a bunch of, and then two struts. So, okay, retract that to increase aerodynamics again. But this time I'm just going straight and level just for maximum aerodynamics. I don't give that is irrelevant to my due to the fact of my altering of physics <laughs> in game. So here we go. Supersonic already. First person I'm gonna do this in first person this time. Yeah normally these should have textures. I don't know why they're added really with it. But I had to do a lot of stuff to get it so it was stable enough for Kerbal Space Program without crashing over and over and over again. What? Look, watch. I, I have that open. I close this. My aerodynamics go down. Why? Okay, have these wide open to um somehow decrease drag. Oh, I think I know what it's doing. It has lift, which makes the prograde up, which removes drag. 
But then once the drag itself action of them actually um, is more than the lift it adds, then it will be having to switch back. They're retracting. There we go, it had kicked in, so now it's all full throttle, but just, you know, due to it being round, SAS keeps you going on the same straight line. It doesn't keep you at the same altitude, which I really wish it did. There we go. And it's more powerful than the factor engine right now. But if I put, um, I could fit four vectors, um, in both, all the segments, so... That would be 12,000 kilonewtons of thrust, yet they have a habit of wanting to fly off. Mach 3. I do not want to lose the wings this time. Well, never had a problem with these thing of this thing's wings wanting to shear off, but I've had that problem with a lot of other craft. Space center in line. I'm thankful that the missile has its own um, thrust source, so I can just fire that up, launch it. And it will just increase its increase speed on its own. Yet I use the mainsail. Let me zoom out to minimize lag. Cut the engines. And open the weapons bay. It's a destroyer because I'm mainly just using that as a placeholder for the developer of BD Armory to fix the mod and make it for the current version of the game. And also, Kerbal Space Program developers, if you see this video, don't, please don't copyright it, and please add F-22 engines. You did it with the Blackbird, why not do it with the F-22? I really wish that the devs would add F-22 engines. Because I want to minimize how many mods I use, because... Having so many mods causes the game to crash almost immediately. I went through a nightmare trying to get this to work. This is the mod itself to work. But that rocket engine's activated. Vehicle assembly building, considering it's the thing I can actually hit. Yeah, I can never tell where the missile itself actually goes. I'm just gonna call it a missile from now on. <laughs> That's fitting! It looks nice with it. Thirty-four minutes. This thing's gonna take all night to upload. Okay. Bombs away! Nailed it! There it goes. You spin me right around, baby, right around like a record play. <laughs> And then me just flying off into space. But yeah, believe that's everything I have in terms of OPT space wing parts so far. That's actually useful for me. Yeah, that one's the exact same thing as this. Hypersonic transport never worked. Comet Trikazi drone, that's stock. OPT boat, not really anything I don't think anyone would be into. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see the OPT boat. Oh, supersonic bomber. 
and was messing around afterwards. Inspired by Hat Bat the Fall of Kerman. <laughs> Kerbin. Yeah. But only three OPT parts, but I'll show that for a later video. So please like and subscribe and watch my other videos. And as always, I'll be back.